Hey guys, it's time for the first garden tour of the year. This is one of two gardens. I'm going to show you what I'm growing. I've got a bunch of containers out here doing a lot of cool things. So over here, I've got my ground cherry. Super excited about it. As you can see, it's got the little husks coming on. And inside the husks, there will be uh, little berries. And when these turn yellow and drop to the ground, you could eat them. This is a very prolific plant. Super excited about it. I grew this from seed starting in about January. So... Um, it's really starting to take off now. I'm sorry if there's wind out here. Um, look how thick that stem is. It just looks terrific. Over here, I've got a husky cherry red, which is a very hearty, sturdy, good producing cherry tomato that I've got on this kind of trellis system just to give it some support. Has lots of flowers, has some green tomatoes back there if you look carefully. Uh, it's going to be a big producer. Over here, I've got a, um, a pepper that's actually extremely thick, and I'll tell you why. This is a purple beauty pepper. Um, and the reason it's so thick and it has multiple main stems is because I topped this when it was really young. And it's just so thick with lots of different main stems. This is gonna be great. I've got some flowers coming on. Very excited about this. I'm growing this in a grow bag because I had some extra and they're very convenient. You can lift them up, move them around. Um, they come in all different sizes. It's really no different than a pot. It's Maybe slightly worse than a pot because a pot doesn't dry out as fast as a grow bag, but you also get air pruning with fabric grow bags. And I think that's one of the reasons this pepper plant looks so happy. Okay, let's swing over here inside my veg trug, um, which is a product that um, is a really great way to kind of have an elevated raised bed. Over here, I've got my early girl tomato, which is living up to its name because it's already producing these kind of beefsteak tomatoes. Uh, I've just got this in a regular tomato trellis. It's looking good, it's looking healthy. I'm keeping the leaves off the ground. In the middle here, I've got my favorite tomato variety in this red trellis. This is a sun gold. Um, I think it's definitely the best tomato of all time. The, the tomatoes it grows are citrusy and, and sweet and sour. It's just like the best if you haven't grown it. And don't forget to come out here, guys, and hand pollinate your flowers. It speeds up the process uh, by which it grows fruit. Uh, the wind will also pollinate and so will bugs, but just take your fingers and, and, and do it. Um, let's see, moving over here, I've got some Blue Lake bush beans, which are kind of floppy and everywhere, everywhere right now. Um, you can see a few of them start to grow. If you look really carefully, there's a little bush bean start to grow there. Um, over here, I've got a big trellis of sugar snap peas, another one of my favorites. They just grow super well. We've got some pea pods coming on. And I don't recommend harvesting these until the pods go from flat, like this, to more rounded. And I don't have any to show you because every rounded one I've eaten so far. Um, and I've got some other tomatoes here. I'm not gonna really go through everything. I've got a, I've got a brandy wine red. I've got a black crim in the back. Everything's kind of just flowering and a lot of green tomatoes. Um, just go over to the side. I've got a couple of other containers I want to show you. Um, this is the Brandywine Red here. So this is another beefsteak tomato I planted in this relatively small pot. Uh, it's looking good. It's just got a single stake in the center to keep it kind of structurally sound. You want to make sure that your tomatoes aren't going to flop if there's like a, a storm or something because if you get a branch to snap, then you're gonna be set back months and months. So my brand new one red's doing well. Over here I've got some strawberries, uh, two different varieties, Quinault and Albion, two things I've never grown, grown before. And we've got strawberries growing, and as long as the birds don't get to them first, um, that's gonna be great. We've got some ones turning red over here. They're kind of a small variety. Uh, I don't know if I'll grow them again, but you know, it's fun to experiment. And I'm just growing them in this little window box. And then, one more thing I'm growing in a grow bag is a cucumber. Um, one of two. Um, this is a cucumber I started indoors a long time ago. It's like a, hun a, a small honey cucumber or something I got from rareseeds.com. And it actually died in the cold. See, it's trying to put on these flowers, which are these um, cucumbers, which I'm going to pinch off because it needs to focus its energy on vegetative growth right now. And I don't want it to grow cucumbers yet. It's just way too small. So here's another... Um, flower, cucumbers trying to, that would be, that would have been a male flower. Get it out of here. We just want to focus on 
growth. And I and I thought, I've got this fence here and I thought it would be kind of cool to have the cucumber use the fence as a trellis just to kind of climb all around it. So um, I frankly don't know if that's going to survive. I'll, I'll film an update later. So yeah, that's my first garden. I've got another garden I'll make another video about. Uh, I'm really excited. It's going to be a great year in tomatoes. Um, really focusing on giving these tomatoes good nutrition, weekly fertilizer with an organic tomato fertilizer with plenty of nitrogen. I want lots of leaf growth and then I'll dial back on the leaf growth and maybe get something more rich in phosphorus and potassium so that the plants can focus on uh, flowering and fruiting. Uh, one more thing before I end this video, guys. Just a tip with your tomatoes. Don't water your tomatoes too much unless it's like really hot or you're just trying to get them established. Because what happens is that tomatoes, when they're a little bit underwatered, um, not only try to put on more flowers, but they push their roots deeper into the ground. And you want as big of a root system as possible. Um, okay, so that was just a quick look at my container garden down here. And um, things are looking good. I'll film another one, another update later. Thanks for watching.